It's a day at the end of August and here in Berlin Neukölln there's a Septembery feeling already. People are coming back from the holidays, the weather's just changing a bit. So let's see what's on the cards for September. I'm going to do my own invented uh, self-generating spread. So we're going to first lay out four cards that will in fact determine the nature of the spread and then we're going to lay out four cards from a different pack that will be the reading itself. So I'm working with this funny little symbolic tarot of worth here and also the really stylish international icon tarot here by, by Robin Attor. But first, first let's create a spread. I've decided to have four cards and so the question is please give us a spread and a reading for the month of September. Those four central cards will, will give us the meaning of the four positions. Now please give us the spread itself for the month of September. Month of September. Okay, so what do the four positions mean? One, two, three, four. And we're not going to have reversals for the positions. So, hanged man, position one, what needs to be let go of? Empress, position two, where is growth? Position three, Wheel of Fortune. Where is the feeling of things being out of control? Position four, the star. Where is hope? Again, the reading. Okay, for mysterious cards, I'm going to I'm going to pull an illuminating card for the second position. Okay, my first my first confession of this reading is that I, I think it's quite I think it's quite a, a, an odd and unexpected sort of message. Now, if the death card was this way up, we would have Empress and Death. And death is a kind of growth and death does rule the underworld. And so in a way, death rules the, the seeds that were popped into the ground, um, you know, in previous months or years and which are destined to, to grow out of the ground. And you see that more clearly in the Marseille style death. We've got a reversed death there. So I'm reading that as a negative. It's not that. Um, let me come back to that. What I'm getting for letting go, we're letting go of, I think we're letting go of the, the um, a certain carefree vibration. Northern Hemisphere, we've been, we've been running around in our summer holidays. I interpret that as, as a letting go of, of a holiday feeling, a skipping about the world feeling. And I see some kind of sort of a slightly a slight disturbance here. Um, Wheel of Fortune, what's out of control? Well, Ace of Pentacles in that context, I would just say money. Ace of Pentacles symbolizing gold. If there's a feeling of finances being out of control, then certainly it, it is a moment to to put away the holiday spirit in September. And um I also want to say about this that I chose, I, I drew a second card for this second position because I was feeling it was rather um, an ambiguous statement here. 
it feels like growth is not coming from previous efforts. And it feels like, given that we've got a Knight of Wands and a Page of Wands, it feels like growth needs to come from new projects. And here we have the fourth position, Star, Where is Hope? Page of Wands. The Page of Wands scouts for new arenas and new fields, new um, territories, if you like, for creativity and expansion. And growth, where does growth come from? In this context, it doesn't come from the seeds that we have uh, planted the year before. It comes from the Knight of Wands, the guy or the gal who leaves home, gets on their horse, uh, has a strong coffee and rushes around the world um, in a state of uh, furious innovation and creativity. So... I read that as a slightly serious reading, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, I put it on a, a jolly orange background uh, to cheer us up. Orange is the colour of creativity. And um, actually, come to think of it, there's quite a lot of orange and red in these four cards for the reading itself. I think when we get back from our holes in the Northern Hemisphere... And when we face September, what the French call la rentrée, when you return to the city uh, from the beach and it's now time to, to get on with life, I think we need to look for new projects. And I think we need to be energetic. And I think we need to be running around making opportunities for ourselves, if we can, in whatever way that makes sense for us. And... With regard to finance, Wheel of Fortune, that is a feeling of things being out of control. It's not necessarily um, the whole story. But as they say on the buses in Berlin, hold on tight during the ride. And what's nice about that message on the buses in Berlin, it's one of those recorded message. It's actually recorded by, famously, it's recorded by a, a trans person. So it's neither a, a male nor a female voice. <clears throat> Very modern. That's Berlin for you. But it's a, a voice with a, a charming light German accent. And the, uh, and the person says, hold on tight during the right. And the, <laughs> and the D becomes a T which I absolutely adore because, you know, to a, an English-speaking person, hold on tight during the right is, is a, really, a really lovely phrase. So whatever the rights of autumn are, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's all hold on tight. Let's have a strong cup of coffee. To some extent, we can put away foolish things. But being the, the Knight of Wands and being the Page of Wands is fun too. So feel for Knugan, as they say, much pleasure. I, I wish you much pleasure with September and um, I will be back next week. There will be a new video posted, even though I probably will be out and about in the UK uh, running around and, and being foolish while that is posted automatically by the computer. Bye.